was born. Can you talk about the conversations you had with Wyndham, what was going through his mind? How did the Fun House first come to fruition? Um, uh, it's no secret that Wyndham was an incredible father, obviously. So I think that having all his kids, um, at that time uh, we were pregnant, but he had the first two, so he knew kids' shows, and he knew how well kids' shows did, and so he um, he kind of had the idea <laughs> to kind of come up with a twisted version of a kid's show, because he said, you know, kids get so involved and so, um, just they dive into these situations. He's like, so what if I did something like that, but made it more for adults, so that like both kids and adults but you know, um, can both enjoy it. So he really um, had a lot of sleepless nights. <laughs> there, there were lots of nights where he would wake me up three, four, five in the morning to kind of just toss a whole bunch of ideas at me. And I loved hearing them, but I also loved my sleep. So a lot of times I was like, please wait till the morning. Um, but yeah, so as he slowly came up with this whole Firefly Funhouse and and um, The Fiend, I realized very quickly this is something that is so out of the box, so creative, that there's no way that it's not going to work. It's going to be the most incredible thing that this company has seen. Jojo. Uh, so we actually have a clip from the documentary about the Firefly Funhouse. 